What advice would you give to him to maybe attract women? There's a group of girls walking, but I saw her. <clears throat> give us some relationship advice. If your that? heart tells you, wow, go for it. Today I got time. Got time. Just a young and put work, I'm on my grind, yeah. Training and I'm working part time, so when I hit the league, best believe I'm gonna shine, yeah. I've been in the shade for a while now. I've been cooking up, trying to make the fan proud. 25 and I gotta be the man now. I've been tucked, but it's time for me to stand out. Bro, got that hit his shit, no cap. Big boy crib. My wife be with my chick. Yo, 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 you guys, you guys, you guys. Yo, make sure you subscribe to this channel, yeah? Anyone who subscribes, I'm gonna give away money, you feel me? So, yeah, what, are you actually gonna give me money? Bro, it's not recording, is it? Nah, that's not, bro, it's not. Bro, bro. hell no, bro. I, bro, I ain't even got like $10 in my, in my food. <laughs> bro, let's go, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 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 She just wants some pipe. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Hey, Dad, you know, why are you getting dressed so... Oh! Mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall. What's up, Dad? That's looking, sh that's looking sharp. Oh, right, well, nice. That's how you should be. And everywhere you enter, you look smart like this. And the way they let you in is totally different. Tell them what you're drinking. With the little honey, little honey. Yeah, what are you recording? Mm. Oh! Wow. Yeah, this is Hennessy, man. My nigga. It's tasty. For those of you guys who don't know, this is my dad, you know what I'm saying? I think it's very important nowadays, like a lot of people don't have maybe their father in their life. So this is cool for me to sit down with my pops and go through what you experienced when you was my age. Or before you met mum, <clears throat> I kind of want to ask you, growing up obviously back in Africa, like when did you start going out, like going out to the club, stuff like that? Oh! It's 18. My good friends also brought up as the same as a group. Mm -hmm. And all my group really like Drinking and going out. So we are, we are the young generation of that city of Kigali. So you guys were going out, young. Yes. So, so we're organizing, uh, dancing. Mm. We go to the pool during the day. Mm. We, we didn't go like uh, a night nightclub during so the day. Oh damn! See, we can organize with our friends. We do invitation. Everything's there. Mm. And then we hire a venue, mm -hmm. and then we put the music. Like, like, like afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Really? Yeah. Would you go talk to girls, or you more like? Y y yes, I, I think we were lucky because we were being the, the city boys. Mm -hmm. So we didn't always get easy to get girls. Gotcha, bitch. Really? Yes. Man said the city boys. So like you guys were those guys where girls would want to come and. Yes, yes, and then also. Financial and maybe because also my father also was a business person there, so it was much easier for me at least to to, to get cars. And what it do, baby? Eat. Sometimes if you look even a bit handsome, it makes easier mm -hmm. to get cars. Gotcha, bitch. How were you like around girls? Were you a smooth talker or were you just more quiet? Like like we always have been so quiet. For me, most of the time I think girls they were. Approaching me. Yeah, you see it, huh, baby? You understand? Me to, to really? To yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that is a thing that is a gift from God. <laughs> so, because maybe the, the shyness, mm. the quietness, mm. he, he, I was be, being targeted, I think, as, 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 as a boy. And I think for girls, like, you know, there's, there's guys who are the loud mouths, but when they see someone who's quiet, he's not, you know, he's, it, it, it makes them like, there's something about this person, you yes, know what I mean? Yes. Especially when you're cool, you're mm, quiet, mm. and you look handsome, so they look like innocent. Yeah, you see it, huh, baby, you understand? Mm, yes, yeah. I was like that type of, uh, of innocent. We, we are like even more drinking beer than chasing girls. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, my dad was little, we'll play them, you know what I'm saying, he was, he was one of them chill back Because I, I always give advice to people, I always tell people, for me personally, never to chase women You know, kind of, yeah, like you said, let it, let them come to you and No, he's fucking good away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, also it's the age, so whatever, if you have energy mm. to chase them, it's good Hell no! Because it's part of your, your teenagers Always get fear so always there's type of boys who don't get mm. scared to the women, the other ones who are scared, the other ones who... Also, it's the type of girls you meet. Yes, some girls they can like you, but they are shy. They can't tell you, they can't talk to you. So, also it depends on both sides. 
Yeah. But most when you are quiet, I think you get you like just quiet, laid back. Yeah. Well, and what like what were your thoughts like on Rwandese women at that time? Like were they open? Were they more like? No, no. Always our girls they are not open. Mm. They, they are so quiet here. So you, you have to go to them. So it, it's a totally different. Like maybe if you go like Kenya or Burundi mm. or, or other countries. So our girls are so very quiet, very classic you, you have to even if she like you you have to come to them mm. yes they, they're not is it like they can't come to you oh, like a, yeah you like that around this girl can't come she can maybe yeah, look yeah. at you but she can't yeah, she can look at you she can like it. it's hard for her to come up mm. to you yeah, so, so beautiful eh? damn you yeah. know when i see sometimes beautiful people think oh you're just talking but when you look around you, you can't it's, 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 yeah. it's nature were more interested in maybe having a good time than chasing women. I think that's what attracted women even more because you guys were just organizing parties. We used to hire the room, mm -hmm. so we had be organizer. You guys were the so rich niggas, man. Easy. These guys were the rich ah. niggas, you know what I'm saying? So me, Pull my up. brother, mm -hmm. uh, my bonus brother, he was Chongo, he used to be DJ. For me, I never used to be dancing much, mm -hmm. but all my friends, they were very good mm -hmm. dancing, my, especially my brother. Every music comes there they could dance could be lingala it could be on the dance yeah, floor on the dance floor so you were just you were just kind of the guy like you just chill with your drink yeah everyone drink, was just uh, both school you mm -hmm. know yeah it's our bringing was totally a different it was enjoyable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well like the way you are with your fashion sense now how was your like you you're very no no even that times i wasn't really Good in fashion. And drip. Okay. Yeah, no. For the person who's watching this, what advice would you give to him to maybe attract women? Can give you advice, guys. Buy perfume. <laughs> no, he's fucking good. That Smell well. Give him the game. Yes. Man, before anything else, before you dress, just play nice perfume. Mm. And, and that is open the door. But when you smell nice, you attract everyone. Man, it's it's open. It's that is the first advice. If you are young, if you don't have a perfume, go to buy a perfume. Yes, that is you know the secret. Some young niggas be out here in the club, them things they're smelling. Wow. At the end of the day, when you smell, you make a difference. Also, girls, they like when you're more organized. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. You go to have Uber, you can't ask a girl, oh, can wow. you share something there? Come on, man. Yeah, there's a word I like to, to use it. G gentleman, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, you know, you have everything there on order. You know, everything you organize, you know where to go. Mm -hmm. If you go take out, learn where you're taking out. Yeah, you know. Then your presentation, man, dress well. It's, it's, it's easy. It's, uh, it's opening window. It's communicate with people. Mm -hmm. But the plus, they make a, a difference. Give me the exact detail on how you met mom. Yeah, so details for me, uh, most times you can't match. Oh! I remember I was in the airplane mm -hmm. and she was working as a hostess mm -hmm. and I was traveling to Dubai for business. To Dubai? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, and then uh, she was having me. You're on the plane, you're doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? What attracted you towards mom like? like... No, it's, it's just maybe from her. I saw her, oh, I like this girl, I ask her number. Wait, like when and then did you get some conversation first or yes because it could say notice we are different so she yeah. was also kind of like there's something about those niggas like you guys were yes yes yeah, the way yeah. we were looking so look like bosses yes yes, yes. Mm -hmm. not even quite like bosses mm -hmm. but we look more different like uh, kenyan mm -hmm. so the, the way we dress you know that time when, well, for me thinking to have a air hostess as a friend I am the because you are in new country everything they are more of uniform it, it was another prestige mm -hmm. so it was both her and you and, and, and her profession okay mm -hmm. so you saw her like oh air hostess so you said what can i get your number so always i used to try to test people huh what do you mean uh, women especially i don't know sometimes you have that charismatic where you get more easily to communicate with women yeah you see it huh baby you understand <laughs> the another one so i used to try everyone huh to show if it's easy to to get women you know so yes, you're no. saying you used to you used to go to try and like to test yes. so like like yes. you yes. see a girl yes. you go and talk yes. to her yeah taste things there yeah, yeah. Man said to mm. taste yeah. stop it
get some help. Yeah, she mm. no fear. No, yeah, no fear because she's a head of state. Mm. You see what happened? There could many people could have want to do that, mm. but most they yeah. could have that yeah. fear. Oh, yeah. yeah. So for me, I have that thing. Ah, she's a girl. Don't get. You don't fear. Mm. So when you test that, you get. Yeah. Good. Damn. Some advice for these guys as well, even for girls. But let's say you know, like go and have that confidence. Don't. Have if that your fear. heart tells you, wow, go for it. Is it no simple? Cap. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. He's good. No cap. Yeah. When you have that fear, mm. and even that is mm. sign, mm. You, you love that person. Mm. The, the fear in you to where to get scared to talk to her. Mm. So that fear, it's. It, yeah. It's the sign. Yeah. Really love her. Do you know how I got my girlfriend? I know. I was on the border, so I was on the border, and then the, there was a group of girls walking. What do we have here? But I saw her, I said, <clears throat> and then I told the border. Yeah. But we were already past them. I told the border, "Hey, turn around." He turned around. He said, "I know them." And we pulled up to her. So give me your number. No, he's fucking good. That motherfucker don't miss, man. So you didn't know her? No, I didn't know her. I just, I, she was on the street. Just on the street walking. Yeah, this is what you call, you know? Yes, you, your heart, you're dealing with your heart, go. your mind, go. Mm. Yes, yeah. But then like a lot of people, like a lot of guys, they get it, they'll see something, go, but then they feel that fear of rejection. You know, so fear also, it, it work both ways. Mm. So fear, fear work positive and negative. Hey, Dave, he said a bone with it. I just, what? It's a bone with it. I act just like my dad, nigga. So in that time there was no mobile phone, it was just landline phone. The place we were living is, uh, we used to have a big complex we live. Mm -hmm. So there's this lady called Mama Tez, mm -hmm. we were living in the same estate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went to tell her, I said, look, I met this woman of Kenya with, and uh, I told her, I'm going to marry her. Oh. Well, you told Mama? Yeah, no, no I want to tell Mama Tez. Mm -hmm. You know, when we were talking, so Mama Tez, she was, she, she, I believe it. Uh -huh. So Mama Tess now she had a friend uh -huh. who worked with Kenya with. Uh -huh. And they talk and they say, Oh, do you know Rose? Uh -huh. And her friend say yes. And I said, No, I think I'm going to marry her. Oh. So Mama Tess she could believe it. But you see, when I said that, uh -huh. I could remember saying it. But later Mama she Tess told she told me uh -huh. what I say at, at that time. And how old were you at that time? Uh is it twenty-three? Damn, so young. So like what like what made you have that inclination like I want to marry this girl? No, it's yes in mind. The instinct like and, uh, how long you been married to mom? Uh, maybe 30 years. 30 years. They give us some relationship advice. The relationship is first of all you have to know if you love each other, you want to do everything together, it's just forgive each other. Experience everything's good, bad things every every day. So mm -hmm. One simple things make you angry, make you crank, and then you don't forgive or you don't forgive. It doesn't work that way because you go back again, you don't forgive somebody, you go to meet that the same uh, scenario comes mm -hmm. to you. Just forgive to each other. If you love each other, forgive each other. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't work, also, it's okay. Don't, well, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Go away because it's a, it's a gift from God. Mm -hmm. If you know these things can't work, Go away. Mm -hmm. Somebody this is there. God give us a lot of girls and boys there everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, don't just die because of somebody. Just live because of somebody. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's nothing else you go to because it's financial problem will come. Uh, infidelity can come. Losing job can thing. Kids come. Relative comes mm -hmm. interfere to, to the marriage. Mm -hmm. But it's you who make the final decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look yourself, take your mind, forgive, and if you can forgive also to, to move on, to move on separate is, is much even better. And and I think like if you said for example if someone was to move on, at the end of the day it's about you got to choose yourself first. You know yes. your peace of mind is the most important thing. If it's like if whatever you guys are having you can't forgive that person whatever like you said if you can compromise. Compromise, forgive each other, boom. But if you can't, put yourself first because you don't want to put someone else first. You'll be miserable. Put yourself first. It's it's where now you become more com complex because you are come to somebody's life and then somebody come to your life. Somebody may be stop you for your career mm -hmm. because maybe the, the circumstance environment. So if you lose your career. 
and to follow up sometimes become and it can become a big issue all the time. So yeah. you found, oh, I should have done this mm. thing. And then you have to understand what is there because mm. even before you think, oh, if a man is working, he had to have money, a job or something there. But even if a wife or a woman can get a job, you can get more money than you, why you can't move where mm. she is? Yeah, or something 100% there. facts. Yeah. Hey, Dad, that was a really good conversation, man. It's also good. What we talked about as well, I've never, we've never really talked about this, even off camera, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's cool to hear your perspective, it's cool to hear when you was younger, like, you know, and I think more of this is gonna come, guys, so keep an eye out, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have more conversation with pups, with everyone in the family, but I think it was cool to also learn that side of you, you know, woman, like you said, all these type of conversations, I think is cool, and, and it's like, the younger people need this type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So yes. my dad's giving you guys game, so make sure you like this video, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Let's we bring our simple story. Yeah, man. And yeah. enjoy life. We bring yeah. our story put it there. And then it's gonna help other. I guarantee you, like people, like some of the, the person, eighteen year olds watching, like, damn, that's some good advice. Like, and they're gonna take value from your life experiences. So I think that's dope. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're gonna see you guys on the other side. No cap. Today I got time. got time Just a young and put of work, I'm on my grind, yeah. yeah Training and I'm working part time So when I hit the league, best believe I'm gon' shine, yeah I've been in the shade for a while now I've been cooking up, trying to make the fan proud 25 and I gotta be the man now I've been tucked, but it's time for me to stand out I've been grinding